Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, so this video is very random. It's still on the subject of sewing, but this is kind of a project that isn't historical. It was really random because a couple of weeks ago my sister saw this skirt on the Brandy Melville website. She was like, hey Izzy, could you make this for me? And I was like, yeah, sure. Um, because it looked pretty easy and compared to like a lot of the stuff I've been doing, it's really no problem, especially since, you know, most of the stuff I've been doing is handwork. So I made her that dress and I really liked how it was. And then I saw another skirt on the Brandy Melville website that I wanted to make for myself. So we both um, got fabric and I didn't film making her dress just because I felt like it was too simple to film almost. And I just kind of wanted to get it done for her. But I filmed myself making mine because um, it's a tiered skirt. I just thought it would be cool to show you guys how I constructed it and um, kind of the process with that. Now the one thing that I would do differently with this skirt was just to get more fabric because it was a little bit tighter on the bottom. And I ended up having to um, unpick the seam in the back a little bit. So now there's like a slit in the back. I think it looks cool, but if I were to do this project again, I would definitely have a wider piece of fabric to make sure that the bottom circumference is like at least 80 inches because this was about 50 and it was just too tight. It just restricts your movement when you're walking. So anyway, with that all out of the way, let's get into how I made this skirt. So I started out with this black quilter's cotton with blue flowers on it. This was a um, really nice material to use. And then after making my pattern, I just cut out my four rectangular tiers. The next step was to hem all the sides of all the tiers. And to do this, I did a tiny, tiny rolled hem with a zigzag stitch because I wanted this to show um, and kind of Im do an impression of that ruffle detail on the actual skirt from the Brandy Melville website. Uh, this was a very tedious process and a lot went wrong. Um, I don't have a rolled hem foot, but after this project I ordered one immediately because I saw how much easier it could make my life in the future. After I had all of the little rolled hems done, not his dead corpse, not him dying. <laughs> I did the actual hem on the bottom of the skirt. I made the bottom tier on the selvage, so it gave me a really nice, um, just over half inch area to fold up and hem. Uh, I definitely recommend doing this. It makes your life a lot easier because you know that your hem is nice and straight and even. I think people without peanut allergies are so funny. People without or with? With peanut allergies. I also sewed this on with two seams because it's always done like that on commercial clothes and I think it makes it look really nice. And I also finished the short edges by doing a rolled hem without a zigzag stitch. After that, I put the gathering threads in each tier at, on the top rolled hem, or just below the top rolled hem. Um, that way it creates the little ruffle detail. Next, I gathered the tier below. I started with the bottom tier and sewed it on with the one of the little rolled hem sticking out and it actually turned out surprisingly well. Next what I did was sew down most of the waistband where I was going to add the elastic uh, but I left a little spot open so that I could put the elastic in at the end and then only have a short area to sew up because elastic waistbands I literally hate them so much so if anyone has any tips please share them with me. Yes. 
You do it. After I had everything sewn together, it was time to sew up the back. So I just pinned this together and sewed it with a simple straight stitch. And the plus side to finishing all of those seams off at the beginning was I didn't have to do anything at the end. The last step was to put in the elastic waistband, so I just threaded through the elastic with a safety pin. And after that was done, I pinned it together and sewed it up at the circumference I wanted it. Then I sewed the elastic to the skirt at the back and sewed on the rest of the waistband and then my skirt was done. I think this turned out really good and I think it looks almost just like the picture so that's always a plus. Alright guys, um, that wraps up this video. I think the skirt turned out really good and um, it wasn't super hard so if you're a semi-beginner I would definitely give this project a go. Um, as always, I put the pattern in the video that you can screenshot if you want, and um, I always try to adjust it to make sure it fits with the changes that I would make or that I did make. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.